four ounces of butter, three ounces of demerara sugar, and a dessert spoon of golden syrup. Now I've got the heat very low there, and what I'm going to do is just let that very, very gently melt. What needs to happen here is the butter's going to melt, and the sugar crystals, the demerara sugar crystals, should sort of begin to melt into it as well. So we'll leave that on the gentle heat, and then I'll show you the rest of the ingredients. In my bowl here, I've got four ounces of self-raising flour and a pinch of salt, and of course it's been sifted. That's what we've been doing all through the program. Sifted flour. Over here, I've got four ounces of porridge oats, and they're just going to go in with the flour. And here I've got one and a half ounces of chopped almonds. And I haven't blanched the almonds, I've left the skin on because I think you get a better flavour with a bit of skin. And I'm going to put half of the almonds, you don't have to be precise, in with the mixture. And here I've got chocolate. Now this is very special chocolate. This is a dark continental chocolate that has 75% cocoa solids. So it's got that really strong chocolate flavour. You can use different chocolates if you like. You can even use chocolate chips if you want to make these with children and you don't want them to be too expensive. But if you want the real chocolatey flavour, this is the one. And what's going to happen now is half of that is going to go in as well. And all I did with the chocolate and with the nuts is just chop them with a sharp knife. So that's the mixture ready. All it needs now is the, the butter mixture. So we'll just go over and see if that's ready. And here we are. Turn the heat out. And now just mix that all together until you have quite a stiff dough. Now if the dough gets a little bit too stiff, you find it's a little bit too stiff, you can add a few drops of water to make it more pliable. But what we need to do now is as soon as this is mixed is to divide it into portions. And I'm going to do that with my hands. We want to make 18 biscuits altogether. So what I'm going to do now is just clean the bit that's clinging onto the wooden spoon. And then you just take lumps of mixture, uh, I would say like a large walnut, a very large walnut, which is like this. Then you just roll it in your hand until you find it looks like this. Then you put it onto um, a work surface and then just press it with your hands, press it out. It might get a little bit raggedy at the edges, that doesn't matter. Keep going until you have a biscuit that's about two and a quarter inches in diameter, like that. Then the rest of the chocolate and the nuts is going to be sprinkled on the top and that'll go the nuts particularly will go nice and toasted and crunchy. And of course you can use different nuts, you don't have to use almonds. Pecan nuts are very good and so are peanuts. Then you just take a palette knife and slide the biscuit with the palette knife over to a greased baking sheet. 